Number three, the manner of articulation. What does the word manner of articulation or what is the meaning of the word manner of articulation? It tells how we produce, how we make a consonant sound. Whether it comes out smoothly or roughly. Whether it's like a hiss, a bop, or him and this is the first question but the second question is what is the importance of the manner of articulation or why do we use the manner of articulation we use the manner of articulation because there is more than one consonant sound that is produced in the same place or in the same point of articulation so, to distinguish between these very similar sounds, we can describe the manner of articulation. Let's discuss the manners of articulation. The first question, as you see on my screen, manner of articulation, how? As I said, the manner of articulation, it tells how we produce a particular consonant sound and whether it comes out smoothly, roughly, whether it's like a pop, a hiss, or hmm. The second question is, what is the importance of the manner so of articulation? The importance of the manners of articulation, or why do we use the manner of articulation? As I explained, because there is more than one sound that is produced in the same place of articulation, and to distinguish between these sound is we can describe their manner of articulation in english as you see on my screen we have six manners of articulation each one of these manners describe how describe the way of making or producing some specific sound is okay the first one is or the first group is stops number two fricatives number three Africans. Number four, nasals. Number five, liquids. And the last manner of articulation is glides. We're going to discuss all these groups. So pay attention to me. The first group is the stops. From its name, stops, it means that the airstream is blocked completely somewhere in the mouth and then it's released like a tiny explosion so the ear stream is stopped or blocked completely and then it's released suddenly like a tiny explosion and the sound is in this groove are And the second sound is p, p. There is a difference between them. Okay, how can we make them? How can we produce them? Pay attention to me. To produce these two sounds, we use our two lips. So we use our lips. The first one as in pie, pie. And the second one is b, 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 as in buy. The first one is unvoiced, and the second one is voiced. And the first one, or in pronouncing the sound p, p, there is no vibration in the vocal cords or in the vocal folds. But in the second one, p, p, there is vibration here in the vocal folds or in the vocal cords, both are right. Okay, let's move to another stops. We use, what is this? This is the tip of the tongue against what? Against the gum ridge. 
What is the gum ridge? The gum ridge is the point above and behind the upper teeth. So say Put the tip of the tongue against the gum ridge. This is the first sound. The second one. D, 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 d. So the first one is. It's unvoiced or voiceless. The second one is. It's a voice it. Okay, guys. We use the tip of the tongue and the gum ridge. The first one, as in tie, tie, tie. And the second one, d, d, as in die. Watch me. Now I'm going to use the back of the tongue. Do you know the back of the tongue? I explained it before. The back of the tongue. This is your tongue, okay? This is the tip of the tongue. And this is the front of the tongue. This is the middle of the tongue or the blade of the tongue. And the last point in your tongue is the back of the tongue. So now we're going to use the back of the tongue. The back of the tongue against what? Or the back of the tongue with what? Against the soft palate. Do you know the soft palate? Okay, I'm going to remind you. This is your mouth, okay? This is the upper teeth. Behind the upper teeth, the gum ridge. Behind the gum ridge, the hard palate. Okay, the hard. And behind the hard palate, the soft palate. So, in pronouncing these two sounds, we use the back of the tongue against the soft palate. Okay, try these. So, make the back of your tongue touches the soft palate. So, and the second sound is g, g, g. Okay, so in making these two sounds is we use the back of the tongue and the soft palate the first one k, as in caught 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 and the second one g g g as in got fricatives what is the meaning of fricatives fricatives what is the meaning of it fricatives comes from the from the word friction fricatives comes from the word friction friction this is friction in making these group the air stream is compressed in the mouth and then it passes through a narrow opening in the mouth and that makes friction so in pronouncing this group the fricatives the air stream is compressed do you know the meaning of compressed compressed and then it passes it walks it goes through a small opening small opening in your mouth and it makes friction the sound is in this groove or and the second one is the first one unvoiced voiceless and the second one then it's voice it 
Why? Because there is vibration in the vocal folds or in the vocal cords. Okay, how can we make these sounds? We use the upper teeth and the lower lip. We use, use your, uh, use your upper teeth and the lower lip, move your teeth to the inside of your lip. But note that, don't stop the airstream. Just compress it and then make it go. Okay? So don't stop the airstream, just push it to make friction. Push it. Say. And the second one. Okay? The first one, as in fine. And the second one, as in vine. And as in van. Let's move to another point. The first one is. And the second one is. So we have. It's unvoiced or voiceless. And the second one. It's a voice. To make or to produce these two consonant sounds, we use the tip of the tongue and put it between the teeth or use the tip of the tongue and the upper teeth to make it simpler. So say, this is the tip of the tongue. Make the tip of the tongue under the upper teeth. So it will be like that. And the second one. Okay, so to, me, to make or to produce these two sounds we use the tip of the tongue and the upper teeth the first one th, as in think the second one is th, as in them and th. how can we make these two sounds to make these two sounds, number one, the sides of the tongue, the sides of the tongue, touches the middle and the back teeth, okay? This is the first step. And after that, the tip of the tongue is lowered, is lowered. Then make the air goes through the middle of the tongue side of the tongue touch middle and back upper teeth like that and after that the tip of the tongue is lowered a bit like that the air flows out of middle part of the tongue so we have to say Okay, it's easy, I think. Is it easy? Okay, practice it. Practice makes perfect. The first one, as in su. Don't say is, don't say zid or z. No, it's wrong. You have to pronounce each consonant sound correctly in order to improve your pronunciation, okay? You have to follow the rules. S, su, and z, z, zu. 
Let's move to another part. And how can we pronounce? How can we make these two sounds? To make these two sounds, use the front of your tongue or the blade of the tongue. And what? And make the blade of the tongue or the tip of the tongue touches the heart palate. You know the heart palate, I think. Okay? So say. And so to make these two sounds, we use the front of the tongue and the blade or the plate of the tongue and the heart palate. Okay, so the first one is as in show, and the second one is as in measure. The last sound is. To make or to produce this sound, we make the vocal cord is, is tense. And then the back of the tongue pushes down. Okay? So the vocal cords are tense and the back of the tongue is pushed against. Against what? Against the throat to create friction. This is how to pronounce this sound correctly. As in happy. High. Happy. Number three, we have Africans. Africans or the Africans sound is R. A combination between the stops or the plosives and the fricatives okay so you can imagine them they are combination between the stops so there is a stop of the airstream or there is a stop of the airstream and then friction africates a combination of a stop followed by a fricative and explosion with a slow release. An explosion with a slow release. The sound is in this group R, CH and J. How can we pronounce them? How can we make these two sounds? To make these two sounds, number one, make the tip of the tongue down. And the sides of the tongue touch the upper teeth. And say, okay. And the tip of the tongue suddenly touches the gum ridge and come back again okay so the tip of the tongue is down the sides of the tongue are against the upper teeth on the side is on the side of the mouth the tip of the tongue quickly touches the gum ridge and then release number four nasals nasals how can we make the nasals nasals it means that they relate to the nose we make them throughout or through the nose the tongue or lips block off the vocal tract the air can't go throughout the mouth and instead of going out through the mouth the air go throughout the nose and the sound is in this group are mm, 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 mm. 
the lips together and the air flows out through the nose okay mum okay the second one is the tip of the tongue touches the gum ridge and block the air the air goes out through the nose okay the tip of the tongue touches gum ridge the side of the tongue touch upper teeth air flows out of the nose okay <clears throat> none the last one is the back of the tongue touches the soft palate the back of the tongue touches the soft palate and the air stream or the air goes out through your nose um, as in the word going 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 i'm going i'm going to visit you i'm going to come i'm going i'm going to play group number five liquids from its name liquids it means that these sounds look like the liquid it means that these sounds are pronounced very smoothly and they are like water flowing in a river the liquids or the liquid sounds in english are the first one is oh oh as you see on my screen as you see in my screen the first one is oh oh to make this sound make the tip of the tongue touch the gum ridge and then the air go out through your mouth through the sides of your mouth like what so the tip of tongue touches gum ridge and the air comes out on the sides of the tongue so say as in love love don't say love love don't say love yellow 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 it's yellow number two er 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 we have two ways in making this sound but for me i prefer the first way the tip of the tongue curls a bit curls a bit okay and then it's pulled back so to produce this sound the tip of the tongue is curled back a bit is curled back a bit and say er er water water gra grammar grammar okay the second way is the tip of the tongue is down the center of the tongue touches the hard palate and it's hard for me actually and for uh, most of the non-native speakers uh, uh, try it er 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 yeah this is the second way and the first the first way or the first method er 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 ramadan er er ramadan er 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 rabia yeah <laughs> okay it's fun er red four car car uh, the last group is glides also called 
semi vowels because they look like the vowels they are half vowels so I glided like a very quick vowel they are sometimes called semi vowels but they can function as consonants and the glides are w, 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 and y, y, y. let's see how to make them w, w. A rounded lips as for the vowel u, 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 w, w, as in when lower w, w, w. A rounded lips as the vowel u, u, w, 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 as in when lower and so on the last one is y, y. And in making this sound or in producing this sound, the tip of the tongue touches the lower front teeth. Okay, but um, it is not important. Just make the tip of the tongue down. Okay, and then uh, front of tongue is raised near the hard palate. Say, yeah, yeah. You, do, do you know that uh, this is the tip of the tongue and this is the front of the tongue okay so make the tip of the tongue down and this front of the tongue make it touches the hard palate that's that's all okay so uh, to make this sound we say yeah 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 also we have another way uh, we make the blade of the tongue the plate of the tongue touches the hard palate okay so uh, we can say yeah 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 